Good morning, students. Good morning, children. Okay, how are you all? We are fine, thank you, ma'am. I'm also fine. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. What is this? Plants. These are different types of plants. Yeah. Okay. So today we are going to learn about these plants. Okay. Are you all ready? Yes. Okay kids, today I have brought different types of plants to show you, okay? And uh, now I am going to teach you today plants around us. There are different types of plants around us, yes? Some are very big, some are very small, some are very tall, some are very small. Some plants live for many years while some plants live for few months. Some plants bear flowers, while some plants do not bear. Okay? So, on the basis of shape and sizes, plants are divided into trees, shrubs, and herbs. Okay? Plants are divided into trees, shrubs, and herbs. There are so many plants, which are very tall and strong. These plants are called trees. Okay? Trees have hard and woody stem called trunk. And that trunk has many branches. On their branches, there are many leaves which occupy more space. Okay, there are different types of trees. Some are neem tree, guava tree, apple tree, mango tree. Papaya tree. Okay, here are some trees. Look. Which tree is this? Guava tree. It is a baby plant of guava tree. And which tree is this? Papaya tree. Papaya tree. It is a baby plant of papaya tree. Okay. Okay, now I am going to ask you stand up. Yes, sir. Tell me any four examples of trees. Mango tree. Banana tree, apple tree, yes. papaya tree. Okay, very good. Sit down. Now, others, you tell me any four examples of trees. Very good, very good. Sit down. These are the examples of trees. Okay? There are many plants which are small but strong. These plants are called shrubs. They look bushy. So they are called bushy plants. Shrubs do not have trunk. They have hard and woody stem. And they live for few months only. Okay? They live for few months. Uh, their roots are well developed. The examples of shrubs are rose plant, hibiscus plant, lemon plant, cotton plant, etc. Okay? Now I am going to show you some shrubs plant. Can you guess which plant is this? Hibiscus yes. yes, it is hibiscus plant. Likewise, another plant I am going to show you. Which plant is this? Lemon. Yes, it is lemon plant. Its stem, look here, its stem is very hard and woody. Okay? Likewise, another bushy plant, another straw plant, I am going to show you. This plant is this? Rose. Rose plant. Very good. Okay, there are many small and weak plants. They are called herbs. For example, meat, rice, Wheat, barley, etc. Okay? I have brought some uh, plants here. Look. Can you guess what is this? Grass. grass. This is grass. Likewise, this is also a herb plant. And their roots are very poorly developed. And their stems are very weak. We can easily broke it. Look. Their stems are very poor, 
very weak, so can so we can easily broke it. Yes, these are hearts. Okay, on the basis of presence or absence of flowers, plants are divided into two groups. One is flowering plants, another is non-flowering plants. The plants that bear flowers in them are called flowering plants. For example, rose plant, lily plant, marigold plant, bacon belly plant. There are so many flowering plants. Look. Yes. Which plant is this? Hibiscus plant. Hibiscus plant. It bear flowers in it, so it is a flowering plant. Likewise, which plant is this? Rose. Yes, it is rose plant. It bears flowers, so it is a flowering plant. Very good. Flowers have different colors, such as yellow color, blue color, white color, red color, pink color, different types of colors. Flowers have different types of colors. Flowers give us fruits and seeds. And inside fruits, there are so many seeds. That seeds grow into new plant. Okay? So flowers are very important parts of the plant. Flowers are the reproductive part of the plant. Okay? Okay, kids. Which plant is this? And which plant is this? Yes. This lemon plant is also a flowering plant. It bear flowers, then it gives us fruit. Look, this is a fruit of lemon plant. And inside lemon, there are many seeds. Likewise, this is a guava plant. This is also a flowering plant. It gives us fruit. How many fruits are here? Look. How many fruits? One. Here? How many fruits? One fruit. And in this plant, we can see so many fruits and so many seeds. Okay? Now, we are going to learn about non-flowering plants. Plants like mushroom, fawn, mold, moss, etc. are non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants do not bear flowers. Uh, they do not produce flowers and seeds. They are less developed than flowering plants. Okay? Can you guess which plant is this? Pawn. It is a non-flowering plant. Okay? And which plant is this? Mushroom. 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 Okay, very good. These are mushroom plants. They also do not bear flowers. Do they produce flowers? No, they are not flowering plants, so they never produce flowers. Okay. Did you get about plant around us? Yes. Any confusion there? No. Okay, very good. Tomorrow we will learn more about other plants. Okay. This must for today, kids. Thank you. Thank you.